Hey GTI fans, welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot. We're going to be doing Alpha 7 Experimental again today. The episode I believe is 12. So, I think so. Uh, last episode we built the guts of an SV and tested it out and it flow, flew really well. Uh, I covered it up with some uh, with some blocks and I'll show it to you here. So here's my metal blob. <laughs> it's the ugliest metal blob ever. I'm so proud of it. Okay. Um, let's now obviously I'm, I'm probably gonna change a bunch of the stuff. I don't want to fall off my I should put some rails up. I got a bunch of rails, don't I? Yeah, I do. I got some rails. Let's do that. Here we go. Uh, blocks and some seven. Yeah. So if I go like this, oh, I want glass ones. I think we want metal ones. Yeah. That's one, two, three, five. Come on, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, seven. There. Now at least uh, that'll help. Uh, so I got to make some more of those. Eh? I think so. That's a good idea. Yeah, because I'm going to be up here all the time. Okay. <clears throat> um, hmm. Now it's pretty ugly. You can see it's just <laughs> a big metal, abrupt metal blob. So, I guess we should probably color it something. Hmm. Let's go into here. We're, I haven't actually made any uh, color tools yet. Oh, I've still got um, ammo spinning up. You know what? We'll color it later. Let's just take this ammo. And fly to the moon. So I need some food. Let's go into the my fridge with all my cooked food. And, oh, wait, did I put it in the, probably put it in here, and it's rotten by now, isn't it? Yeah, I betcha. Where's my fridges? Oh, no, 61 minutes. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. So, get my jetpack on, make sure I got oxygen, lots of oxygen, and I'm pretty sure I got lots of ammo in there now and fuel, so let's do this. Go in, power it up. I'm just gonna... That. And... Actually, I'm gonna turn my jetpack off. There's a reason I'm gonna turn my jetpack off, and that's because when I go to space, when I pop out of my ship, as long as I level, as long as I hit O and get it completely leveled, I'll stand in my ship. If I put my jetpack on, I tend to like be out. It, it ejects me out of my ship quite easily, quite quickly. <laughs> so we'll try this. Okay, we're out in space, and whoa, what is that? Is that the, I don't know what that is. Looks kind of scary though. Can we see it on the map? That's not it, that's not Tia Secure, because Tia Secure would be right there. And there's the moon, or is that, is that the moon? Yeah, that's the moon. That looks like 
it's probably the carrier or something or or an evil base I don't think I want to deal with it I think we should just go straight to the moon well let me uh, while I'm here let me load my another 60 missiles so I got 360 420 we're just gonna go and and do some mining I think uh, I think there's pentaxid on the moon so there's none in space here but if we go into here we can look at the moon stats there it actually pentaxid is a deposit and cobalt so I want to go pick up some pentaxid and cobalt so let's do that I mean, I guess we could swing by the uh, trading station, just have a look at it on the way. For those of you that are curious, there's probably a teleport pad back down to the trading station on Akua. I'm assuming that's usually how most of those go. I'm not really interested in going in there. I'm sure you've all seen most of you, anyway, have seen uh, what the inside of a trading station in space looks like. This looks like one of those... Yeah, I mean, we can do a flyby. We can, or a fly-through, I guess. Let's turn around straight now. Go in here. So, one of my previous... Uh, builds when I I um, kind of stole this model I like the center pillar idea with a bunch of stuff around the pillar and and then the four cargo uh, ha hangar doors going into it I stole that idea on my um, on the multiplayer server that we have and I when I expanded out the uh, supply depot because that, that already existed as a model before I built that. And yeah, I like that. So, kind of kind of stole it a little bit. But uh, Let's go to the moon. To the moon. Oh, what's that? We've got, there's a freighter. I don't really want to deal with a freighter right now. I just want to go get this metaxid and, uh, and cobalt. That'll allow me to warp once we get the pentaxid. Man, this SV is capable of it because I put that uh, warp drive on it, right? So, kind of excited about that. Obviously, if there's a easy to loot civilian POI, we might take a look at that. Depends on how much time we got here. Well, that wasn't a smooth transition, but whatever. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing close. Doesn't look like it. just for shizzles. All oh, right, my I need him anyway for rocket drone. Okay, I'm not going to loot him right now. I'm just going to look at the map. So we've got iron, silicone, I want cobalt and pentaxid. I'm looking for cobalt and pentaxid. If we go Let's keep going north up to that silicone and then we'll head east. So Here. 
Once we hit the boundary, we'll head east. There it is. Okay, so don't want to go too close to the boundary. Let's keep it off in our of POIs. Oh, it's getting dark. I have not yet lo oh, that looks like an aggressive POI. <laughs> Doesn't it? The hell? Wow, that thing is like glowing. Okay. Well, let's just have a look at it. We can we can we can kind of for it. Whoa, it's getting really dark. I can hardly see. And we don't want to get too close. Is it going to give us the names? Oh, the tax. Oh, of course. See that? Is it going to shoot at us? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, it's guarding two Pentax. It's an outpost, so yeah, it's a shooty. It's a shooty thing. Okay, well, let's uh, just skirt around that. Although, hmm. We could do it. That's two, thing, two things of Patax, and if I take out the turrets on that outpost. Shall we? Shall we try? It's in the dark, though. Positioning here. And then we'll go over. Now I gotta figure out where the where the turrets are. I'm thinking that. Uh, yeah. Let's reload. Okay, so three three fifty nine. Right when I went to shot, it kind of jerked. So let's try this again. And, uh, did I miss again? I'm having a lot of jitteriness. I'm, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm having so many jitters. Normally I don't. Taking the hits. I don't even have good armor, but I got a big bulkhead, so I'm not that worried. Okay, so that guy's dead. And then that one. Switch to our guns here. Whoa! No, I did not get it. Okay, so we gotta go over here. And... Oh, it's a different one. Okay. There. I think I got it. Now 
Uh, is there any more? Let's take a look. spawned inside of it? Okay, well they're stuck. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Let's, let's try going down. Oh, no, 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 we are not okay. Okay, so there is crap down there. Okay, nice. Okay, so we've got this pentaxid over here. Let's see if this thing shoots. No, no, okay. I mean, I'm going to have no armor, but I'm not going to be jumping out. Just okay, so I think we can just land here. Let's see. Okay, nothing shooting at us. Those cannon drones are stuck, and the great thing about that is because they're stuck. It won't call for reinforcements because I'm not killing them. I'm not sure if it's the drones that trigger the tro troop transport or attacking the outpost, but I, but I mean, I just took out all the turrets and there is no troop transport. So, but I bet you if I shot those drones somehow, a troop transport would come. Anyway, uh, let's. So is my light done? I think my light got killed. Yeah, <laughs> my light's dead. No light, okay, we can deal with that. Let's just, so as long as those dots stay on the outpost, I'll be okay. Um, there, I can turn this on for you guys, it doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna pop over really quick for a second. Pop the drone out. Tab for a quick second to get my radar back and then I'm just gonna eat something really quick here. Oh, I just noticed. I don't have my O2 turned on. There, let's do that. Derp a derp. I mean, not a big deal. I can just go like this and kill off again. Okay. Come on, do I gotta jump? Yeah, I gotta jump. Oh, 
oh yeah, I wouldn't be able to handle the radiation here either. So that's good. That's good how I designed my ship, right? So I can just... I don't have to worry about all that crap. Ooh, I took some... I lost some blocks. So there's some blocks missing there. There are... blocks missing in the front. <laughs> my light, but that's pretty typical. So a block missing there. Some blocks missing on the top. Okay, but that's what they're there for. Take those hits. Block missing down there. Yeah, I took I took some hits. Okay, anyway. Let's dig at this. So it looks like Pentaxid is just like the regular deposits. We're gonna resource mining. So this will be good. We'll be able to warp to a nearby star system. And um, so that was 10, 10 pentaxa, not bad. Considering how slow pentaxa usually is to pick up, I think I've gotten about 30 already. So nice. Um, yeah, we can go to an adjacent solar system or well, I guess our adjacent whatever sector and um, hopefully get some Neo and Sath because that's what I really need right now. Neo and Sath. A restroom Zascosium would be nice but that's gonna have to come later I think. The Neo and Sath will allow me to make a basic CV. Nice, so we're getting good stacks here. 120 already, woot! That is awesome. Let's keep going. So, once we get this stuff, I'll be taking it back to the base and refining it and getting ready for a warp. Um, I think off off camera I'll be I'll be doing some more mining. I'm gonna look for some more pentaxid. Um, we're gonna get some cobalt. So yeah, because time is running out on this episode, and I don't want to just show you just mining. I mean, we did. We did uh, some good work on the outpost though, so that's something that uh, potentially uh, we could explore in the future. Uh, with my light armor and Evo boost on it, that's probably not a good idea. Um, and I don't have enough missiles just to like bust it open and, and, uh, and do it that way, so. I think we'll just leave it, we'll leave it uh, neutered at this point. Um, okay, so let's find some more here. 
Get to the closest spot where we've dug before. There we go. So I really don't want to leave anything left of this deposit. Um, it's just kind of a waste of my time if I if I stop at a certain point. You know, I might as well just completely clean it right out. And I'll do that to the taxi right beside us too. It's, it only makes sense while I'm here. So... Look at that, we're all, we're up to 230 now. So I'm going to keep going at this uh, off camera and get, like I say, I'm going to get some, I'm going to do the other Pentaxa deposit, the Cobalt, when I find it. And then I'm going to head back down to the base. I'm going to whip all that stuff up and I'm going to prep it all. I'm going to get way more missiles built and fix up the uh, SV damage it I might even paint it and texture it and then um, um, we'll we'll go warp we'll go warp and we'll try and get some neo and sath and that that should be pretty cool uh, we'll have to deal with some space drones for sure uh, so guys if you like the episode like and subscribe uh, next episode we're gonna warp all right guys have yourselves a good one